Hello friends, my name is Akshat and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is the second section uh, or let me say the second section of the reasoning ability test this is the second subsection that is data sufficiency. So let's look at the questions that are given here. So the first question says how many liters of orange juice can an orange orchard of 375 orange trees produce? Each tree is each tree produces an average of 400 oranges. Each orange can give one cup of orange juice. Okay, so here we have 375 orange trees. Uh, wait, let me just increase the size. So according to the first equation, uh, it's saying each tree produces an average of 400 oranges. So we can simply say 400 into 375. So this, this will give us the maximum of, uh, that is total. These number of oranges are there. According to the second argument, it's saying each orange can give one cup of orange juice. Okay, so there would be total of one, uh, one lakh fifty thousand cup of orange juice. But there's no, no way says that how many liters are actually it's producing. So the answer would be, the correct answer for this would be four. Since we have to mark 4 as the answer if question cannot be answered even by using both statements together. Okay, so let's go to the second question. Here it's saying there are three consecutive integers x, y and z and are not in necessarily in that order. Which is the highest number? So basically what we have to do, we have to find the highest number among these three numbers. So according to the first it's given, average of x and y is z. So what it means x plus y a whole divide by 2. This is basically the first equation is saying. So if this is given, then we definitely know that uh, that z is in between of x and y z can be equal to them also if suppose uh, the value of x and y is 2 and 2 then z would also be 2 but suppose if the value of x is 1 and y is 3 then the value of z also be 2 then it will lie in between so either it will be in between or these three would be equal okay so we cannot say which is the uh, highest number among these three so let's go to the second question. It's given x is greater than y. x is greater than y. Now we know to make the complete average. Uh, if x is greater than y, then z will also be greater than y. Because then only the larger number and the smaller number divided by 2 would give the average number. So the highest number is x. So the, for this particular question, we need both the arguments to know the correct option. So this would be the answer. Okay, let's move on to the third question. So, Mariani has rupees 4 in 50 pesa and 1 rupee coin. How many 50 pesa coins does she have? Okay, so before starting this question, let me tell you this have actually two contradict uh, two answers. Um, I don't know which one is exactly correct. I am just going with my intuition. I have considered with many other people and according to me that specific answer is correct. But some are saying the other answer also. So till there is no answer key, we just cannot tell which is the exact uh, answer. So I just wanted to point out that. Okay. So she has 50 pesos on the sides. Yes. We have given, we have to make four rupees. Uh, the con denominations are one rupees and 50 pesos. Okay, so according to the first equation, it's saying she has less 50 pesa coin than 1 rupee coin. Okay, so there can be basically many combinations like uh, 0, 5, 1, 5, 0. Okay. So now at the question, the main question says that 
इट हैज रुपीज फोर इन फिफ्टी पैसे एंड वन रुपी कॉइन सो इट मीन्स दैट इट डेफिनेटली हैव फिफ्टी पैसे एंड वन रुपी सो वी कैन इग्नोर दिस फाइव जीरो एंड जीरो फाइव ओके सो सपोज दिस इज वन रुपी एंड दिस इज पॉइंट फाइव ओके सो वन रुपी एंड वन प्लस फाइव दैट विल गिव मी थ्री Two and three, um, that would give me three point five. Three and two, this would give me four. And four and one, this would give me four point five. Okay, why four here? Uh, because three into one plus point fifty into two. Okay, so that is how I have totaled it. Uh, you can calculate it. Okay, so here. Uh, and why i have taken only uh, this kind of formulation this is because of the statement 2 in the statement 2 is it has written she has a total of 5 coins okay so see uh, by summing uh, suppose uh, one there are 1 rupees 1 coin and 4 coins of 50 paise so the total sum is 5 here also it's 5 here also it's 5 so i have taken these four combination uh, which combines up to total of 5 coins so by using only the second statement we are getting the answer as 4 okay so according to this the the correct answer should be according to me it should be 2 although uh, when i have considered a uh, various person uh, some of them uh, some of them have told me that we do not know which one is more uh, we do not know whether 50 paisa coins are less or 1 rupee coins are less we just don't know so they have answered they have actually answered the correct answer as 3 but according to my intuition and my uh, reasoning it just doesn't go with it so i'll just stick with the option 2 uh, option 2 says that if question can be answered using either statement uh, which means that either one can be answered or either two which can be answered to true okay so we can answer it only using two so that is the correct option here. Okay, so so let's move on to the fourth question. Zinc, copper, aluminium, and tin are melted together in the ratio of eight is to six is to three is to one to form a mass. Zinc costs rupees thirty per kg. What is the cost of copper per kilogram? Okay, so uh, just side. This is a problem with side on this. I need to correct it. Soon. Is Z is to C is to A is to T. Here it's given at eight is to six is to three is to one. Okay. Zinc cost rupees thirty. Cost of zinc is thirty per kg. Okay. So according to the first equation, uh, we have to actually find the cost of copper per kilogram. Uh, so let's leave, move to the first argument. It's saying the cost of alloy is rupees one fifty per kg. Okay, one fifty per kg. That actually don't help to in finding the cost of copper because we are getting the specific cost of alloy. And this ratio is a uh, make notice, make sure that you know that this ratio is of mass, is not of the in how much. Uh, money this amount is distributed it's not that ratio it's ratio of the mass so suppose if you have not read this specific word correctly then you would uh, just total all the ratio and you would find the answer and suppose for copper you will think that it should be the sum is 18 and for copper it's 6 so 6 by 18 into 150 so that that would actually provide you this is the this specific answer is about the mass okay so you cannot use this because this is in rate you just cannot multiply it that would be really abnormal so uh, let's go move to the second argument cost of aluminium and copper per kilogram is same okay uh, even if the cost of uh, aluminium and copper per kilogram is same we have got two values Uh, C and A. We know these are equal. We know the value of Z, but we still don't know the value of tin. 
so this answer uh, so we cannot even answer this question so the correct answer would be four and four stands for if the question cannot be answered even by using both statement together then just mark it as four okay is 200 uh, just move to the last question is 200 the wait is 2000 the average score in the gre 2000 the average score in gre uh, the highest gre score 2000 average score okay so for the statement the highest gre score is 2390 high equal to 390 low equals to 880 and according to the second question half of those who take the gre score above 2000 and the other half score below 2000 so uh, we can say that we just cannot determine the answer by looking at these two equations uh, even separately or together so we will just mark this also as the answer okay so this is it uh, if you have any queries or any questions regarding this video then please leave it out in the comment section uh, do subscribe the channel and share it with your friends also. Thank you.